Hello, everybody. Welcome to the recovery room. My name is Nick, and we are here playing Persona 5. And uh, already, right off the bat, Silent Phantom. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll come check yours out, too. Alma, let's get this party started. Uh, so we're going to play Persona 5 some more. Um, I know I've been skipping out on... Um, I've been skipping out on Metroid Prime, and... I'm torn because I've started it. I've gotten pretty far in it, um, and this is gonna sound like this is gonna sound like a. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'm not really enjoying it that much. But I'm pretty far in it, so if 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 that's a series we should finish out, let me know what you think. If you're watching this on YouTube, comment what you think. I'm, I'll, I'll probably go finish it out. I know Resident Evil is coming out soon. Star Wars is coming out soon. So if we're gonna do it, we gotta do it soon. So. Either way, we're going to keep going in Persona. So, uh, if you missed the first few parts, uh, only the last episode's still on Twitch, but parts one through five are all on YouTube. So go there, check it out if you missed out. Otherwise, we're going to jump back in. Uh, ooh. The last thing that we did was we uh, we got Matarame. We beat him. We, we stole his treasure. And now we're kind of just in the final days leading up to when he confesses his crimes and then we're going to just kind of chill and figure out who's next. So let's, let's jump back in. Uh, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. We're 20 hours into this game and we're like, we still got like a hundred more to go. And that's just, we're never going to finish this game. We're going to be playing this game until next year. Uh, let's go. So, right, okay, so we have six days left to kill. Uh, we just did the event where, oh, you know what? We're going to lose sound for one second. We just did the event where um, we picked up the trash. We finally made the confident with, um, oh, my God, I'm, I can't remember her name. She's one of the new ones. Uh, she's gonna teach us how to do Yoshizawa. We just made a confident rank with her. So I think that's it for the new people. Um, it makes me a little bit concerned because these games are notorious for hiding like 30 hours of contact behind a specific um, confident. And I'm like, Maruki is new. So I gotta max this out. And I'm like, maybe out of. Out of. Um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Precaution, we should max out Yoshizawa's too. Uh, so anyway, so that's where we are with confidence. Uh, skills, stats. I'm trying my best to uh, max out everything. And I don't remember what we did last, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, what were we about to do next? Let's sit down and think about this. Hey. No. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do. Right, so I wanted to go to the, um, is there anybody I can hang out with? Who's in the city? Oh, right, so I can't do EY yet because I don't have high enough uh, guts. I can't do the street orator yet because I don't want to, <laughs> because you have to work a part-time job for that. And who's here, is it? Oh, it's Kawakami, oh! Can we raise her up yet? Let's go to the clinic real quick and see if we can raise hers up. <sighs> the warm rate gets the stranger people act, like that perverted high school teacher. Has anyone ever studied the correlation between the rise in temperature and the rise in weirdos? So what do you want in it today? Please head to the oh, wait, no, that's, oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. That's to Kemi. Okay. Wrong Which person. One? Sorry, Take I don't care. care. I didn't mean to do that. Kawakami. Who, who is that? Wait a second. Cow Wait, is that? Oh my god, that's. I come. I'm. Brain fart. That's that's uh, soldier. No wait. Wait what? Oh 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 oh! Kawakami's our teacher, right? So that's another new one we got last week. Okay. 
Um, we also can't do that because we don't have enough guts for that. Because apparently in order to call your homeroom teacher over to dress up as a maid and clean for you, that requires guts, and we don't have that. So, because we have two potential links tied directly to guts, I kind of want to do things that will raise our guts. So, let's see if there's any books or any movies we can rent that does that. What can I get you? Uh, I already own all the books. Okay. So far, the biggest way I, I see to raise our guts is to um, do the burger challenge. <laughs> so, let's try the Big Bang Burger Challenge tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to do uh, mementos, because I have two uh, targets in mementos. So, that's what we're going to do. That's our game plan today. Welcome to Big Bang Burger. Open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. We are offering a new... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'm taking the challenge. Um... So we're going to fail it because we don't have high enough anything. But we're going to take it anyway because it raises our guts for even making much. the attempt on it. Now then. So we have to eat this entire burger in 30 minutes. It looks like there's a whole head of lettuce in here. The burger's already cold. Now then. I'm rooting for you. And remember, nobody will think any less of you if you give up partway through. Oh, uh, it didn't work out. You had a ton of energy to the start. It'll take quite a bit more courage. Right, so we need courage, knowledge, and proficiency to go up higher. But for attempting it and failing, we get two stats and guts. And still bold. Uh, getting from two to three is going to suck. Want to head back? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we're doing mementos today. I don't care who invites me to hang out. What's up? By the way, the exhibit's till the end of this week, huh? We did what we could, and now we wait for the results. Uh, want to head out? True. It's important to take a breather after some hard work, but I feel like my body will be weaker if I play around too much. All right, he's all about training. He's all about like uh, yeah, training. Oh yes. Uh, I've actually gotten into fishing lately, although it's just pond fishing from time to time. I can't go sea fishing because I get seasick easily. So much for my dream of being a sailor. Oh right. When people think of sailing the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. Even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships and coastal settlements through force, for some reason, they end up getting romanticized. Now then, dog coon. Right, if you're new, um, my name's Big Dog. Don't worry about it. Do you know which peg-legged parrot-toting historical figure's appearance became visual shorthand for pirates? Oh. Uh... Captain Kid is our one of the personas. Um, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. John Silver. Captain Kid was definitely there just to throw us off because it's a persona. All right, John Silver. I trust. I trust the audience. Very good. That is correct. The answer is long. Oh, Long John Silver. Duh. A character from Treasure Island. The story of Long John Silver informed much of our modern view of pirates. Unfortunately, he only exists in fiction. In terms of non-fictional pirates, well, Captain William Kidd made quite a name for himself. Oh. Okay. Captain Kidd is real. Wow, he got it right. He's so smart. Nice going. Did it go up? Man, I read books. I study. I don't know what else I gotta do. Uh, though the research seems to indicate he, that he didn't have blah blah blah, I stopped. I yep. stopped reading. Okay. Mementos. Let's. Oh no, lunchtime. I didn't think she would come. Oh, maybe she's skipping practice. I hate those events. All they do is make me dirty and tired. Think they'll do it again next year if they're if they are. I'm definitely skipping. So they're probably talking about the garbage pickup that everybody had to do. It was like a um because of um. Not Madarame. Oh my god, what's the name of the, the gym teacher? Uh, 
either way, because of him, the school's like, oh, we need to make a better image for ourselves. So they had all the students pick up trash in a park. Okay. The pollen is bad today. Oh, okay, pollen. There's pollen out, so that'll help me in mementos a little bit. Uh, I think I want to go see how Shiho is doing. Do you think you could spare some time and talk to me before I head over there, though? I could do it right now if that works for you. I feel like I can become closer with Anne because of my persona. Oh, but my bond with Anne is going to grow stronger. Uh, we still have five days. All right. You know what? Ah... Uh... You know, yeah, let's go hang out with Anne. We're gonna hang out with Anne because I want that bond to grow stronger. And then we'll do mementos tomorrow. I have a persona that's gonna help with her and help, this will help in mementos, so. Hey, I have some big news. The double cream from that famous crepe shop, crepe shop is half off right now. Mm. Uh, but I probably can't take a crepe into the hospital, huh? I really want one though. Do you think maybe Shiho would want one too? Uh, do I, do I, I feel like I should encourage her. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that wasn't the right answer. <laughs> In that case, maybe I'll buy two. Though I guess she might have rehab today too. They probably wouldn't even let her eat it. Um. I forgot to mention, Shiho started physical rehab. She pushed it up ahead of schedule. I think it's because I told her about how strong, how I want to get stronger. She said she was gonna start working hard too. I haven't actually seen any of her rehab sessions yet, though. Oh, hold on. What? Now? Oh, that's not good. Sorry. Sorry, something just came up. That was from my agency. One of the models didn't show for a magazine shoot they're doing. They're looking to wrap soon, so I'm going to head over and fill let's in. Go. It's pretty close, though. Want to come at with? Actually, let's just go. I'll race you there. Okay. <laughs> We arrived at the meeting spot. It looks like they're having a pre-shoot briefing. On Senpai, I'm so pumped to get to work with you today. After I saw you in last year's show, I... Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Um, it, it really wasn't a big deal. That, that fashion show was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika, and please, no honorifics. I might be older, but you have loads more experience on Senpai. All right, M Mika. <laughs> uh, it feels a little weird saying it like that. Oh, and you don't need to use senpai with me. A a anyways, uh, it's it's nice to meet you. Likewise, Anchan. <laughs> You're so nice. Okay, <laughs> hey, can you teach me how to be a better model? You know, your everyday routines, stretches. Mm -hmm. Routines? You mean like singing in the shower? Oh, I is that all you do? Then, um... What kind of stuff do you eat? I've been looking all over the pl a place, all over for a place to import some organic green almonds. Plus, I'm getting super tired of eating quinoa. Do I like? Do I need to like boil it in hard water or something? Mm -hmm. um, almonds? Uh, I only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. And hard water? Isn't that kind of tough to boil ice? Mm. Do you weigh yourself? <laughs> Oh, of course. Once a year for the health examinations at school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you're going to keep it all secret for me, huh? I get it. I, I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. Uh, no, that's not it. I just don't really think about that stuff. It has nothing to do with not trusting you. It's more like it's more that modeling is like a hobby for me. What? An senpai. That's so horrible. What do you mean you don't care about modeling for these guys? You said that on? Wait, 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 I uh, I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make sure their product is the best. Mika-chan, just calm down. Don't worry, we, we all know that you're giving it your all here. But you guys work so much harder than me and I'm still the one getting comforted. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Anchan, the truth is we had both you and Mika-chan come down as substitutes for our missing model. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're really not interested... Hey, no, no, I, I didn't. I, Don't worry, I can do it alone. I read the concept docs on my way here. <laughs> <laughs> what? You faker. You're so mean, Anchan. Do you really hate me that much? Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, 
You good to go, Mika-chan? Sorry about all this, Anchan. We, we won't be needing you today. We'll reimburse you for transportation expenses, though. And even throw you in a little something extra for your trouble. Oh. But, uh... Mm. That magazine's... The magazine staff left for the photo shoot. Uh, I really screwed that up. Oh, I don't know how to answer this. You're outmatched. That's that doesn't seem like anything. But complimenting her, that's you're out. You're outmatched. Yeah, but maybe it's because deep down I'm not actually that invested in modeling. She sees straight through that. You also told her. She didn't like make this like revelation on her own. You told her. <laughs> but still, wasn't Mika's face crying pretty incredible? Oh, fake crying. Uh, it had grace. Do you think? Oh, maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't know though. I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. Uh, how do you do it? Listen carefully. The key is you don't actually cry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why it's called fake, right? <laughs> yes! Either way, I think I'll be able to use that ability to our advantage in the metaverse. I'll turn my failure today into a positive energy going forward. Oh, see? In the metaverse, which is where we're going tomorrow. I sense heightened motivation from An. Wow, so we're level five with her, wow. So we have a chance to force enemies to ask for less during negotiations. All right. That's all right. That's not that's not the best thing, but that's fine. Speaking of the metaverse, I'm going to try super hard in my work with the Phantom Thieves too. But for now, I should go stop by and see Shiho at the Thanks. hospital. Thanks for today. I didn't really do anything, but you're welcome. Bye. Doses. Um, do I have a movie that we can watch or something? I still want to train everything. Even though, like, I want to focus on guts, I need everything. Oh. Guy McGur Oh, this will make our proficiency go up. All right, let's watch it, Morgana. There's sulfur leaking from the tank. We need to do something fast. It's fine. I'll just use this chocolate. See? The acid and the sugar are reacting. Guy McVer is... MacGyver? Uh, it's a story about a man who never gives up beating at all as with science and ingenuity. Wow. wow, he fixed a tank's crack with chocolate? How does he stay so calm? Hey, hey. The protagonist knew just what to do despite the crazy situation. You learned a thing or two about proficiency. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna max all this out eventually. Well, then. Okay, alright, so now... Now we're going to mementos. That's you. Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't hold it in. You'll have to make some kind of excuse for me. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Employee posts nude chef selfie. Wild Duck Burger claims to have fired the employee in question. Those close to the man voice their surprise, vouching for his seriousness at work. Is Shibuya unsafe? Crime rising? The police are issuing warnings for people to be wary of scams. Hot spots of Tokyo. Tickets for the Matarame exhibit are still available through June 5th. Mm. That Matarame exhibit goes on until June 5th. That's the end of this week. We'll show him what a change of heart means. I, I beat it too fast. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have beat it as fast as I did. Well, oh, God. Who's texting us? Oh, man. Tell me, tell me he, we're going to get closer together today. He found a good spot to train. I feel like my brown with Ryuji will grow soon. Shit. No, I've been putting up mementos for like four days. We're going. We're going to mementos. Although there's a lot of people we can hang out with, and Ryuji. Oh, Ryuji's gonna go up too. God damn it. Do we hang out with Ryuji, and then... I mean, we still have four days. No.
No, we don't. We're going to mementos. I can't keep putting it off. Seems pretty rough. All the people I see on the street wearing masks. Are allergies really that bad? Oh, okay. It's V request, right? Well then, we have some new intel on a memento target today. All right, so we have two targets. The one who bullies bullies and the crazy cat lady that's stealing cats. Let's go. Let's go. We're doing this. We are doing this. Do do this. Bum 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 bum. I'm raring to work. I'm raring to work. Um, what personas do I have? Oh, I got a lot here. Let's let's let's. So we need to keep. Um, we need to keep this one because one of our goals is to have Ame no Uzume learn uh, a specific attack, and I think she needs to be a certain level to do that. So let's 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 fuse some of our other ones though, just just uh, free up some space so we can uh, capture some more if need be. How goes? Igor. The inmate needs our guidance. Let's execute him. It's fused by what results. Do you want? So I'm level 19, so I can fuse up to level 19. Do I get a bonus for the chariot? I do get an Arcana bonus. This is a good guy to have because um, physical and bullets do nothing. And he's only weak against nuclear, so. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Uh, let's see, strength and magic skills. Decrease SP cost of physical skills by half. Yeah, that one. Uh, let's do skull cracker life drain. Okay, that's good. We'll skip this. We don't need to see them get killed every time. Me, Shiki Uji. You have that mask in your heart. That means you my peer. And because of our chariot confidant, we get an extra level. Two extra levels. So level 19, what else can we do? High pixie. Mm. Fusion. If I do these two together, it turns into a Kodoma. Oh, interesting. That will give us a Yakshi. But that's level 20, we can't do that. Uh, how about you and... Uh, that's new, but I don't want to... Not a whole lot we can do here. We can get rid of these two. Okay with this? No, no. I'm not okay with that. Let's, uh... They will be reborn anew. Let's, let's electric chair this. <laughs> It appears it will become something protective. Yeah, that's so fine. This is what it into a new form. Yeah, we're putting this persona into the electrical chair, and we're gonna kill it because it's gonna turn into an item for us. Uh, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> we got an ember ring out of it though, so that's you know, good. You change your mind? Are I didn't change finished? my mind. What? Um, I still have business here. I want to talk to you what? because I want to check on the penal labor. <sighs> right, it has to learn the skill fray. Huh? So we have the persona we need. We just need it to learn that skill fray. And I wonder 
will she just learn it on her own or do I have to teach it to her? Do I have anything that I can use that'll give us that? I have a lot of items. Let's just, we're just going to keep her equipped as much as possible. No slacking off. And once she learns Frey, then we'll go back there. Uh, I'm going to keep Ryuji out of the party for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep Ryuji out for now. How do you feel about that? Uh, you stay here, bro. Well, then. Let's start part way in. So it's gonna be here somewhere. I'm sensing the tar a target in a preceding area. Oh. Okay, we gotta go back. Since our target is somewhere in this area. All right, so one of our targets is here. So that's going to be quick. We're going to start off right there. Okay, good. So it's a good thing I went ahead. So we don't, we didn't have to come all the way. Uh, sorry, Rangers one. Let's go, Rangers. Um, we didn't have to go as far ahead in mementos as we did, but after I beat um, the mini boss, I decided to just go as far as the game would allow me to. So that's why we're we're already here for this first one. Where do we have to go? Oh, we do have to go that way. Well, there's a sleeping persona because of the pollen. Oh. Come here. Oh, a bunch of you guys. It's weak against electricity. What does uh, fire do? Nothing? All right. I know it's its weakness, but I don't have that. He has a machine gun. Oh, good. Ame knows lightning. Perfect. What? Oh. That's a rare one. Physical does nothing against these guys. So we're just going to keep firing magic on it. Uh oh, it's groaning. <laughs> oh man. Let's try our new guy. I oh, know, but he's. Oh, his magic is actually is pretty good. Let's use um. Yeah, you know, whatever. We're gonna use her. Got him. Yeah. I messed that up in uh, Madarame's palace. All right. I could have handled that myself. All right, here we go. Here's our first target. This is the bully that bullies. The bully that bullies bullies. I think. Oh no, this is the cat lady. This is the lady that steals everybody's cats. Hey. Ryoko Aino, you're gonna let all the cats in Yongin go. No, without me, Snowball and all the other kitties won't be happy and safe. Other kitties? <laughs> what are you talking about? 
Snowball! <laughs> come here, kitty. You've got to come over, too. Ugh. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Standing like this. That's a persona? I'll be the one to protect the snowballs. I won't let anyone stand in my way. I don't see a weakness. Sometimes this game is intense and emotional, and sometimes it's this. Persona. Oh, she's weak against wind. All out attack, let's go. Oh, please stop it. If I'm gone, there won't be anyone protecting the snowballs. Mm. Uh, Joker, it seems like there's something going on with this one. Maybe we should try talking to them. Okay, here's what we know about her. She's calling the cats that she catnapped Snowball. The catnapped cats are stressed out. And lastly, the pet owners are giving up. Okay. All I want to do is protect the Snowballs. I have to protect them. I just have to protect them. All right, calm down. I am calm. If there's one thing I know about somebody who's freaking out is telling them to calm down is always the right thing to do. Uh, <laughs> that's no, I'm joking. Uh, I am calm, of course I'm calm. I need to stay calm for the snowballs. What does she mean by snowballs? That's so weird. Are all cats snowballs? Snowballs are snowballs. <laughs> are there a lot of snowballs? That's right, they're all snowballs. I have to protect them. As long as I protect them, the snowballs will be happy. Yeah, but the cats are stressed out. Well, that's... But if I don't keep an eye out for the snowballs, they'll die too. They'll die too? So the real snowball is already gone. Okay, I think, we, I think we've got this. She's calm enough now for us to talk to her. Go for it, Joker. Um, snowball is gone. You're right. That was it. It's a step forward. Okay, that was really easy. Because I found this white kitten and took it home, but it wandered outside while I wasn't looking, and then I saw it get run over by a car. The car just kept driving, even after I ran over the kitten. I ran over to the kitten. Since then, I see that kitten in every cat. I always think I have to protect it this time. Hmm. It brought you a lot of suffering, huh? No. The people who really suffered are the owners of, and their cats. It's all right. You realize your mistake. Just just don't do something like this again. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Kitty. <laughs> I have a lot of cat food at my place, so please come over sometime. No. <laughs> I'm not a cat. But that sounds nice. <laughs> Thank you. We got a cat brooch. Okay, so that's one. Hey. hey, that went well. What should we do now? Keep exploring? How many targets are left in this area? Um, let's keep going. We still got one more to go, don't we? The target's close. The area. What, did, did Morgana say the area right before? Let's just go to a lower area. Oh, not a lower area. Like a. Like a. Lower number, a higher up area is probably what Morgana meant. that guy Focus. oh he's gone <laughs> where did he go these are all blue these are all weak but I do want Ame to grow so Whoa! 
Medium damage to all foes. Resists. Wait, please let me go. All right, then show me the money. I didn't ask for this. Oh, all right, cool. Deuces. Okay. Oh, good. This is where we want to go. I think area five is where we'll find. Yep, it's in this area. All right, cool. Uh, these guys again? Okay. Nope. Sorry. I'm taking you out, son. Victory is ours. A spectacular victory. Bum, okay. bum, 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 bum. Didn't even break a sweat. Okay. Oh, it saw us. So we're not going to get the jump on it. Uh, finally, something new. That one's weak against wind. That one does nothing. All right, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to do it on all of them. Although, it would still be easier to do this. Oh, God. Pass it to on. On, you're up. Fire it up. Kaboom. Okay. That was so easy. I'm yawning. Sweet. Just like two free treasure chests. Some sooty, ghastly. Ge oh. We gotta go to the. We gotta go to a laundromat soon. <laughs> There's nothing that way. Take him out. That was easy. <laughs> too overpowered for this level, so I might just avoid enemies and just go for the... Well, I'm still gonna explore everywhere. Right, so we don't want to go up. Alright, here's the next one. I thought these would be a little bit more tougher. Maybe that's later on in Memento. So this is the bully that bullies bullies. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's take him out. Listen. You think you can blame me for what I've done? <laughs> it's a dog eat dog world, moron. Didn't you hear? Might makes right. What was that? No jerks got the right to go around blackmailing people. The weak who can't survive in this world become prey for the strong. Nothing's wrong with that. 
You gotta be kidding me. You're not strong. You're just a coward who won't get his hands dirty. Haha. <laughs> and you're a stupid dog. That's all bark and no bite. Changed my mind. Dogs are stronger than cats or mice. You're just trash. Now die. <laughs> my god. Ooh, he's like a dark Jack Frost. Let me help you understand what survival the fittest truly means. I don't see a weakness. Let's try uh, shooting him. Ice? It didn't work. That did nothing. Oh, that's gonna hurt on. So fire's probably... Oh. Interesting. Lightning? Eh. How's physical? Let's go. I lend it. Okay. Ice is no good. Use something different. All right, so let's, let's shoot him up. Guns seem to work the best against this guy so far. Let's heal everybody just in case. Much thanks. Ow. Take him out, Anne. Oh, good. I'm a girl level. Well done on your new skill. Oh, but that's not her next... Frey is the thing I'm supposed to teach her. Maybe... I'm not a loser. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. Aren't I? Isn't this a dog-eat-dog -dog world? No, don't... Don't eat me. Why don't you just admit you lost? You're acting kind of pathetic right now. Yes. I know I am. All right, now is it's time for you to get eaten. The strong eat the weak or something, right? When I'm done with you, there's gonna be nothing left but bone. You ready? Please forgive me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just kidding, man, jeez. You don't gotta say sorry to us. Go apologize to who you really need to apologize to. Let's get the treasure. Case closed. All right, that's it, we're done in mementos. Impressive leadership. Well, what's next? You want to continue exploring? Oh, I meant to say, let's go back to the entrance. Because I have 71 flowers, but Jose is nowhere to be found yet again. That little shit's never anywhere to be found. I meant to leave. Can I go back? Ah, uh, damn it. So we're done. Let's go back to the entrance. That's it. We're done. We have 71 flowers, but Jose's nowhere to be found. So. Huh? Did you change your mind? Okay. Successful mementos trip. Hey, hey. hey, did you know some way home the cats are back in Yongin? Also, I overheard the owners talking. It sounds like Aino turned herself in. Once she pays for her crimes, apparently she's going to volunteer to take care of stray cats. I I hope that goes well. I doubt she remembers me, but maybe I'll go visit her someday. Ah, you're back. I assume you were all curious, so I'm sending you an update just in case. Madarame is still bedridden. He hasn't spoken a single word. My apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. Come on, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. It is June already, though. The exhibition will be ending soon. At least it doesn't seem like Madarame's had a mental shutdown. But there's no point if he don't have a change of heart and call off the legal action bullshit. Was this how it was when you defeated Kamoshida? Pretty much. Yeah, Kamoshida was out of school for a while. 
Either way, either way, there has been no palpable progress. It appears only the target themselves can tell whether or not their hearts have changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. We're just gonna have to, gotta hear from Madarame himself what the deal is. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Let's just go waiting a little while longer. Okay. Alright, so we can't leave because we were in mementos. But what we can do is finish up that movie. So, before we f do this move and proceed, I'm going to be right back. I just need two minutes. I'll be back. Sit tight. Okay, sorry about that. We're back. Alright, let's finish Guy McVer. Damn, they shut off the power. How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda can. I'll just tie it to this string. There's a story about a man who never gives up beating all odds with science and ingenuity. Mm. This guy makes all sorts of tools. All right, we already know this. Oh. All right, we finished watching Guy McVer. <laughs> hmm. Our proficiency's gone up. That's good. Okay. Well then. All right. On our way to becoming a better person. I want to ask you something. Ah, oh, Makoto. Why did Mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden? I don't know. He grew conscious. Is that your hypothesis? It's still too sudden. I believe it's only natural to think that something must have caused it. Well, that's fine. Thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account. Okay. Wow, straight to after school. Anybody want to hang out? All right, let's go to, um, oh, Takemi. All right, so let's, before we go see Takemi, let's, um, you know, really quickly, let's see if there's any jobs that help us with our guts. Oh, uh, what's up? I came to see you. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's check out the part-time jobs. Here we go. What are your thoughts? Oh, right. I forgot we can do this one. Develop proficiency, gain charm from customer service. I don't remember accepting this one. So nothing, nothing that's going to give us anything really, um, nothing that's going to give us, like, what do you call it, um, what we want <laughs> is what, what we call it. Um, let's, 
return this movie. Is she following us? She's following us. <laughs> That's really funny. Are you alone? Are you, are you going to meet Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san? I don't mean to pry. I was simply wondering. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, they got new DVDs in. Take a look around. Charm, kindness, sneaking, guts. Oh, the running dead. Yeah, let's rent that. That's going to make our guts go up for sure. The running dead. Look at her. She's relentless. That's so funny. Let's see if there's any new movies playing. Oh, the Cake Night Rises, we already saw that. Alright, let's, um... Let's go see what Takemi, if we can level that up. Allergies are so annoying. I have a good medicine for the blah, blah, blah. Uh, I want to do a clinical. Oh, uh, my boss not going to deepen yet. I see. No, so, you know, let's not... Not yet, at least. Um, I do want to go to... Let's do the batting cages. Let's get our proficiency up a little bit. Welcome. Intermediate. Let's go. Let's do it. Good luck. Okay. Okay, we hit that one at least. I swung a little too soon. Ah, shit. Way too soon. Oh, home run! All right, so that's the timing. We got the timing down now. All right, we're doing it again. Here you go. All right, so we got that for the home run, but no, let's keep playing. I want to. I want to get the batting challenge for it. The slugger prize. I mean, that's what I want. Oof, just missed. Nice. Okay, two for two. Yes. Three for three, okay. <laughs> they don't gotta be home runs, we just gotta hit them. Oh, baby! Nice. One more. Oh. Here you go. Slugger prize. Uh, you probably have time for one more round. I mean, I guess I might as well. Right? I have time for one more. Might as well. We don't have to hit all these, though. Oh! <laughs> I missed the first one. I like the way he chokes up on his bat. Whoops. I want it to be a little faster. This is like that game I was playing at Dave and Buster. Yes. Mm, nice going. That does our proficiency. Yeah, our proficiency goes up. Head back? And now that it's nighttime. Ah, you're back. Hey, hey. I was thinking the same thing. He's like, you're carrying around all that armor. Why don't we do laundry? Things going well on your end? I had some new achievements as you imagine. I've had some new achievements as your image management representatives. I have to. Rep I have a report to make to you. It's good news. Do you have plans for today? You won't regret it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see Mishima. We'll go to the laundromat tomorrow. <laughs> Today's my treat. Phantom thieves are all about fancy stuff like this, right? That's why we're here. Oh, and uh, it's just the two of us, so don't be afraid to go all out. Uh, what do you want to eat? I mean, steak sounds good. Doesn't it? Meat's perfect for tough guys like us. <laughs> By the way, this place is all you can eat, so let's make sure we get our money's worth. Actually, 
Uh, anyway, uh, I posted on the fan site that I had connections to you guys. Fandom really ate that up. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I didn't say anything that would point to my real identity. I did end up talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization, though. The donations I got after that were pretty generous, to say the least. But I guess our loving sponsors just wanted to show some support. Not bad for strategic management, huh? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was a piece of cake for someone as skilled as me. Let's take advantage of this windfall as much as we can. Oh, and uh, it's okay to consider this meal an organizational expense, right? Wait a minute. I've seen on the news that using donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. Food is definitely an acceptable business expense. It's definitely an acceptable business expense, but can the same be said of an expensive buffet? Oh. The more I think about this whole thing, the less I think I should. We should use the donations here. I mean, people would get mad at politicians for using tax money for personal affairs. Same as probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess returning the money would would be the best choice. Yeah, you know what? You're right. That's right. Oh, no, that wasn't the right answer. Okay. Well, yeah. I, okay, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, what do we get for this? Nothing. <laughs> All right. Oh. So if we're returning the money, how are we going to cover our meal? <sighs> oh, I'm flat broke. <sighs> I guess let's just go home. That was worth it. Oh, Big Dog, sorry for dragging you out for no reason again. As strategic image management rep for the Phantom Thieves, I wanted to splurge a little to to boost morale, but I, I guess it ended up being pretty good for our PR in the end, right? You'll get better ideas. Leave it to me. There's still so much I have to learn from you guys. I'll work even harder. I want to be a real asset to the Phantom Thieves. Okay, bye. All right, a couple of days away. Ooh, we can gra we grab the seat. Let's let's finish reading uh, the Art of Charm. Hmm? The X Y Zs of applying pickup techniques. All right, this book is gonna help us uh, pick up the ladies, if you know what I mean. We finished the Art of Charm. Ooh. Three. Uh, still nothing to three. Uh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so myself. <sighs> Boy, it sucks being inside that bag. This isn't actually a request from the fan site, but a personal one. Truth is, a younger student came to consult with me about something the other day. It sounds like he's getting blackmailed at his job by the store manager. The manager? Yeah. From what he told me, money went missing from the register and he was supposed to be in charge of. As such, he's been falsely accused of stealing money from the store. And now the manager's making him pay back a full amount. It's 50,000 yen. That seems odd. Yeah, this guy's like the most honest person I know. There's no way he'd steal all that money. And well, I did some research into the store online. According to some rumors, the manager might be the one stealing the money. He's the only person who checks the register after all. Uh, on top of that, some of the other staff members saw him taking cash out when he was calculating totals. Anyway, the guy's name seems to be Nozomi Odo. I found it out when I looked into the store. Please, y you gotta help this student. All right, I guess we're going back to Mementos. Hey. Shouldn't you tell the others about the target? Yeah, yeah, we should. How's your health? I'm all rep prepped and ready for your clinical trial if you want to come. Yeah, let's go see Takemi. <sighs> My bond won't deepen just yet. Do I have any death persona? You see. Hold on. Let's very quickly. Let's go to 
Hmm. Um, let's go to um, the Velvet Room. See if we can get a death persona. And that'll help us with our bond with her, I believe. So, do you have You'd like to read the compendium? You want to register it? I probably should have read, been, been registering all my sure? persona. I almost said Pokémon. <laughs> These are the paths you have walked. By Arcana. Any death ones I can bring out? There's got to be a way to... Oh. <laughs> Just like this. Uh... Death. Oh, God. <laughs> Those are way too strong. Is this what you want? A fee is required. Oh, I can get him for that. Never mind. Let's see if we can fuse our own. You wish to perform an execution. What path do you want? I want something death. But I can't. I wonder is it worth it? I don't I know it plays a role. Justine, you handle this. Read here. Where did I see that one before? Death. Is this what you want? A yeah, let's, required. yeah, go this ahead. Alright, we got McCoy. Whatever. What? Uh, I want to go back. It is time, inmate. Okay, so now let's go back to Takemi. Now that we have that persona, that should help. I feel like I'm even closer that I have the death persona. Oh. Well, let's hang out with her anyway because blah, blah, blah. All right, so it's going to grow stronger soon. Bye. Alright, let's watch that, um... Sorry, Sojiro. We will hang out with you eventually, I promise. But right now we gotta watch the running dead. Because I want my guts to go up. What the hell is this? How the hell are the dead running about? Have you been bitten? Show me your arms. You haven't been scratched or bitten, have you? It's a story about people trying to survive in a city infested with zombies. For real? Uh, talk about a dead man walking. I saw dogs in there too, but not a single cat. Mm. What a scary world. I wouldn't want anything to do with that. I bet you've summoned a little more than guts by watching this. Guts! Well then. Okay, it's Saturday. Getting started. This jabroni. It's been getting humid lately, huh? But it's times like these when you just gotta push through the funk. Don't let the weather get you down. Well, that was the plan anyway. Then I got police officers asking what I was up to. Do I really look that suspicious? Ah, yes. Ah, but speaking of looks, have any of you seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice too? Uh... That thought process is totally normal. If not always accurate, there's an even name for it. How about you? Any guess, Big Dog? What do you think the name for this phenomenon is? Why is our guidance counselor teaching a class? Um, I'm gonna guess it's called the destiny effect. Uh, the halo effect. This is it. Right. I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities and your broader perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make total objective judgments. Like, that person is quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. Whoa, he actually knew it. 
Maybe I should ask if I could borrow his notes. Nice going. Hmm. The halo effect isn't all bad. I recommend you give people a chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it would be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Sick. Mm. Alright, it's raining. Oh, it's raining. So you know what that means. Rain, huh? Let's go to the library and study. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's you. Um. I'm sorry for what I said. I judged a book by its cover. I failed as a librarian assistant. There may be times when other students give you a hard time, but please don't mind them. Feel free to use the library whenever you want. You can hone on your knowledge here quite nicely, but you won't have you won't be able to raise your guts anymore. Okay. Or now what if we go to the diner and study? What if... Wait, so... Where's... Where's Ryuji? I wonder if we can study with Ryuji. Where is he, though? There he is. Up. Yeah, let's hang out. Let's, I, w I want to raise all of our social Are links. Social links. I keep saying that. Our confident levels. The rain stops. Here we are. Protein Lovers Gym. <laughs> it's pay per visit, so you don't got to worry about any bullshit contracts or nothing. The equipment's kind of crappy, but they've got tons of variety. Plus, it's a real damn cheap. Totally worth it, even without a pool or a hot tub. By the way, oh yeah, you bring your stuff? Um, protein powder? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> if you want to beef up, you gotta... Wait, no, that ain't it. I'm talking about square undies. Oh, spare undies. <laughs> square undies. Uh, getting back in your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Wanna get going? Anyway, let's head in. You can now quick travel to the sports gym. <laughs> Whew. My form's coming back, but I don't got any stamina. <laughs> Sakomato? Morning. Ikeda Senpai, what's bonkin? <laughs> bonkin, you say the strangest things, what the fuck? Is that how you greet a friend? <laughs> I've been trying to come up with some cool new slang. Maybe it'll catch on. You can't just do that. Oh, and you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I've already graduated, remember? Hmm. I haven't seen you before, though. Were you on the track team? Huh? No, he's uh, he's my friend. By the time he showed up, the track team was already, well, you know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Eh, I'm managing. How about you, senpai? You still running? I actually joined my university's track team. You, you'd think I would have quit entirely after what happened. Uh, yeah, about that, uh, I'm real sorry. No, I should be the one apologizing. I was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I just resigned myself to Kamashita's will. <clears throat> yeah, that's because you needed him to write you a letter of rec, right? You were just looking out for your future, but I still managed to F it up anyways. Kamashita clearly never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. You were just his excuse not to. Honestly, I enjoy where I am now. The track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Sakamoto. Senpai. <laughs> I've always regretted not doing more to protect you guys. Uh, this all sounds like a bunch. I don't care. I don't care about any of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this was so important, they would voice act it. Hmm. So the track team's coming back. Good for them. You want to rejoin? I don't know. For real, though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet Nakoka 
Nakauko. Nakauka. And them can start training again. But I'm still worried about their advisor, y Yamauchi. He's basically like mini Kamoshida. So he's an asshole? Uh... Basically. He'd always yell at us at practice, but then there'd be a huge kiss ass when our parents were around. I can't believe a moron like that's gonna be advising the track team. He doesn't even teach PE. He's gotta be up to something. I'll do some research. There's a chance I'm gonna need your help too, okay? You'd be free to lend me a hand if you need You'd be free to lend me a hand if I need it, yeah? I'll be counting on you. Alright. Our bond with Rahage is a little stronger. Chariot goes up to five. Alright. No added perks, but that's okay. Alright, we're done here. Let's go home and shower. Or let's shower first and then go home. Yo, what's bonkin' about that stuff today? I can't really let myself be happy about the track team starting up again. Like I said earlier, it's just something fishy about Yamuchi, Yamauchi being the advisor. But I mean, if anything happens, I know you got my back, so I ain't worried. Don't worry, I got you. Thanks, man. I knew I could count on you. I mean, we don't know for sure anything sketchy is even going on, but when I get these gut feelings, they're usually right. Well, if I hear anything, I'll hit you up. Okay, later. Ah, you're back. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Madarame must have had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But he wouldn't wait till, uh, to press charges until after the exhibition. What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Madarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Madarame. S Sorry, I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarame is on the phone as we speak. With who? Likely the media. I haven't heard anything in this conversation about pressing charges. I guess we gotta just wait then. Alright, so we're gonna meet them tomorrow. finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time, too. So it's not raining. But I would like my guts to go up. And I'm not ready to bond with Sojiro anymore yet. What Persona class is Sojiro? No, that's not what I meant. Uh, Sojiro is a hero. My persona, do I have any? I do not. Can I get one? Let's go back to the velvet room and get a hero. Cause we're gonna rate we're gonna try to get these guys up, so. All right, Igor, what you got for me? Time for some rehab. Let's execute him. Let us begin the search. All right, what can I get? Nothing with this group. Let's see if we can um. Finished for now. You'd like to read the compendium. These are the paths you have walked. By Arcana. This persona? You'll withdraw this persona? Never mind. <laughs> Wait, can I? This, this is your power. Wait, what? Wait, I can just do that? What? Wait, did I? What did I just do? Wait, I just got a level seventy-six persona. What? There's no way that's right. What? Uh I can just do that and it didn't cost any money. Why did that happen? Time for some rehabilitation. Um I'm going to electric chair him. It appears it will become something protective. Insta heal. Behold, it's now. 
Be reborn. I feel like I shouldn't have been allowed to just do that. Why did that happen? Okay, let's go Finished back to the, the register. Like to the compendium. These are the paths you have walked. And now it costs 59,000, but why? This persona? Wait, why do I have access to these? <laughs> what? All right, well, we're not going to cheese the game like that. Because that's... That ain't right. Commanding it is beyond you. I guess it's I guess that's a perk for having the royal version. I'm a little confused by that to be honest. But anyway, um I just need something from the hero rank. Here we go. Commanding it is beyond you. This persona is unknown. Oh, all right, so I, I don't have any. Oh, I meant to go back. It is time, inmate. That has to be like a, a perk for having the royal version because I don't see how that's possible. <laughs> that's okay. All right, you know what? Let's, let's, let's hang out with Sojiro. You got time right now? All right, then. I'm going to help him out anyway. Okay, good. It's gonna grow soon. Thanks. All right, here we go. The day we've been waiting for. There he is. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I, I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I. Plagiarized work. I, I tainted this, this country's art world, and, and even Sayuri. How could I, I possibly apologize to, to everyone for, for what I've done? <laughs> <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Phantom thieves again. <laughs> you guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal! Yeah, this'll be fun. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. 
Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. Yeah, boy. Uh-oh. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Are you friends? Uh... Uh, we just wanted some tea. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. Hey, but, like, what about all these people just hanging out in the background? It's still light out. Man, those Why not go up to them? Too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second Thebes incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? Eh, it'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, oh, yeah. I pressed him for answers. But he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw <clears throat> his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge, thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? <laughs> you know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? <laughs> we'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. All right. Guess it's just more prep till then. Right now is when we start acting normal. Like we haven't been for the past two weeks. Oh, here we go. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? It's the truth. <laughs> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. What the member? identity of Madarame's pupil can oh. be easily discovered with a little investigation. She's talking about Yusuke. Go right ahead. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. Kaneshiro? He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So... Exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? 
Tell me. Sure. Well, I went to the batting cages, and then I did some laundry, and then... <laughs> The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must oh, be approached this guy. with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> oh. Oh. Looks like Yusuke's texted me. I think you're getting them too. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? I truly am thankful for you making me come to my senses. Uh, you're exaggerating. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you. Of course. If anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. We'll then see you. He didn't have to just go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyway, that went well for our first job, huh? What a huge success. So that said, you got time after this? Yeah. You know. Well, thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. But I totally forgot that they expire today, so you want to go right now? <sighs> Come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play Morgana? Mm, yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I've never been there. Oh. But for real, there's a bunch of different shops right outside the station there. All right, so we gotta go to the Inogami line. Sorry, I've been playing with a slinky because I have ADD. Uh, Inogami line, let's go. Jojo. All right. Now, we're heading to an area. Two hundred yen. The school commuter train pass allows you to travel to free on two A rail lines. Oh, so I guess the one way ones. Those two. Why is she following us, man? Ooh, Kiji Jojo. So this is Kiji Joji. You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah, it looks like there's a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. It seems interesting. Right. Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Anne's not here because she's busy, but I better be fun to come along with her some more people. I think the darts lounge is one block up from the main street. Right. But uh, since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of other things shops on the way. Yeah, I agree, man. This place looks sweet. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, is she just standing right there? Can I say hi to her? Um. My, what a coincidence. 
He's just staring at her. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. Uh, a bank. What, was that? what do we got here? Ooh, a hat store. Mm. Some clothing. A cell phone store. Hmm. Fried food shop. Oh. Come back at night time for that. Huh. So that's a temple. Why is she following us? <laughs> so we can come back here and is this a dumpling place? Oh, it's a Chinese bun shop. Oh yeah. I love dumplings. I think this is a new area. I don't remember this. Ooh, a jazz club. It's only open at night. So we gotta try coming back here at night one time. Imported groceries. Thank you for stopping in. Popcorn bomb. <laughs> Pricey because it's imported, bro. Oh. Hey. The name of the shop matches what's on the free tickets. It says Penguin Sniper, huh? Why'd you give uh, one of those doofy birds a gun? <laughs> it's not meant to be taken literally. <laughs> Still, you're coming up with a good name. Well, whatever. Let's check it out. What's this next to it? Whoa. Hmm. Uh. Let's go in. We can now quick travel to darts and billiards. All right, bull. That's a new high score. You seem to know a lot here. The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. <laughs> anyway, this game's fraud. Zero one. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? Yeah, you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point. Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and straighten the arm hey, out Ryuji, a bit. what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Wow, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Yeah, but you, you, you ran track. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost. Oopsies. <laughs> Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane, but it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Oh, cool. Damage goes up and HP recover. Okay, so the higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful. Oh, this is a new thing. Okay. Increase damage, heal even more HP, and recover SP. Wow. You can verify party members' baton rank pass on the screen. 
Oh. Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Huh. That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh! Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck? <laughs> Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh, yeah, they have pool here, too. Hmm. This game could be useful, too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, but can we actually play? We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so we bring people there to get our baton rank up. Hey. Alright, let's see what's going on. Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichi Joji. If you make one wrong move or says or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and turns into a fight. And even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did. And then sues for damages. So he's like a con artist. Or like like or like a conflict artist. And the cops? Well they tried to give him a warning, but when he pretends to be senile, he gets away with everything. Can't just let him go unchecked, right? Only problem is knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear he hangs out at Kichi Joji's Harm Har Har Harmony Alley a lot. Okay, let's let's make our next up. Okay. Let's go to Kichi Kichi Joji. Kichi, jo Kichi Joji. Hey, hey. Harmony Alley. I don't know where that is. Oh, we can. There's a velvet room here too. Sick. So now that it's nighttime, let's check out this meat thing. Chunky Katsu. Hi. Yeah, sure. I'll buy it. I like Chunky Katsu. <laughs> Can we go into the jazz club? I guess we can't. Welcome. Hey. What do you play? Uh, not right now. I just wanted to see what would happen if I went there. Crystal healing? Take a look around. Oh, okay. This is stuff like that. Alright, where's Harmony Alley? This looks like an alley. That old man hasn't come here. No wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bad mouthing my customers, but he makes so much trouble. Old man making trouble, huh? Uh, this ain't no place for a young and like you. Y you you look for someone around something around here. The elderly troublemaker. So even kids like you know about him. That old man's out of control. He takes drinks from strangers. He starts fights, and when he gets in trouble, he causes a ruckus and tries to mooch money off people. What's creepy is the more trouble he makes, the one the wider his smile gets. You got a name? Hey, that man's always shouting his name over and again. Hey, Giono. Okay. Okay, so we got a. Mm, okay, let's go. His joints hurt on rainy days, so maybe if we go to mementos on a rainy day, we'll have an advantage. All right, so what do we want to do? 
Oh, we can level up with Mish Mishima. So might as well. Let's hang out with him. Come on, let's get going. Um. So, how go the activities? Actually, I already know the fan site has been crazy busy thanks to you guys. Uh, this book here is all about the latest security techniques, and this uh, this model gun cost me a lot of money. It looks almost real. No. Well, yeah, that just goes to show how special it is. I heard they had to completely halt production because people kept mistaking it for a real gun. It looks like a real gun. It was suggested to me by this military buff from the fandom. I figured I could use a bit of security since I'm the sole admin of the whole fan site. I mean, you guys are getting really popular. There's been a lot more info on the forum lately. Uh, some of the stuff up there is pretty scary, so it seemed like that I might need a little protection. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah, I may just be your background supporter, but I need to be able to protect myself. Besides, I'm the kind of guy who um, who goes the whole nine yards when he decides he's going to do something. But as I was saying, we've, we've had a pretty massive influx of new posts on the forum lately. One of them seems particularly worthwhile. It's bigger than anything we've done so far. But if we, if we want to really make the Phantom Thieves famous, we'll need to go after some flashier targets. <laughs> Leave this to me, though. I'll get all the info we need, even if I have to put myself in danger to do it. Ooh, increase experience earned by a backup member. All right. Sick. So I guess that means they weren't earning full experience, but now if it's increased, then... Actually, People keep telling me it seems like I've changed recently. I, I, I guess I can't hide my newfound confidence, huh? My worth will... My true will finally. Well, well, if it isn't Mishima. <sighs> Akiyama kun. <laughs> Long time no see, Zero. <laughs> oh, no. You know, we've been sitting just over there the whole time, but we didn't even notice you sitting here. Sounds like you just need to get better at noticing things. Uh, you're exactly the same as you were back in middle school, Mishima. Yeah, once a zero, always a zero. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you haven't you haven't changed your cell number, have you? Hmm? Uh, no, I haven't. Then why didn't you come to our hangout? All our ex-classmates were there, you know. Oh wait, nobody even remembered you existed. Can't invite a guy you can't even remember, right? Right. <laughs> come on, guys, let's go. It's just. It's not what it looks like, okay? You know that one guy in every class who ends up being the butt of all the jokes? Well, that guy was me. Damn it. But I've changed now. I I can help you. I'm not I'm not gonna be that boring guy anymore. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh anyway, it's getting late. We should probably head home. Well, see you later. Uh poor Mishima. Oh, uh, big dog? <laughs> Just so you know, I'm going to work even harder. Not just in managing the fan site, but also help make Phantom Thieves a household name. I'm going to do everything in my power so you can just kick back and relax. Alright. Thanks, big dog. I'm really lucky to have a friend like you. You just go ahead and focus on changing those bad guys' hearts. Uh, okay, I better go. We'll talk again soon, okay? see the news about the calling card from the Phantom Thieves right uh, they the way it was written seemed pretty legit have they really stolen people's hearts blah 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 <sighs> it's so gross and human excuse me not for today's train news today's headlines are hotspots of Tokyo penguin sniper has opened for business in Kiji Joji what a penguin, what's penguin sniper you ask? A zoo? A pet shop? No, you fool, it's trendy lounge for darts and billiards. <laughs> Whether alone or in a group, how you play is up to you. Oh. 
We should bring Anne there to get her baton pass up too. Morning. Is it? The response to Madarame's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing phantom thief charisma. Oh shit. My father's starting to be popular with all the fly hunt. N oh no. What's wrong? <laughs> For real? What's wrong? My uniform, man. That's what. We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. I knew people were looking at me. Oh god damn it. I gotta go home and change, so you go on ahead. <laughs> Holy shit, you're pale. Short sleeves are not do not are not for you. Shut up. Anyway, uh, did you catch the news yesterday? You know, that thing that all high school kids say to each other? Uh, watching that famous artist cry his eyes all over the network he's stolen? Uh, the same thing happened to Kamashita, right? Both got weird calling cards, too. If you ask me, the same person's behind all this. Uh, the news this morning said a group called the Kardashians are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they, uh, get people to confess. I mean... They can't literally be stealing hearts. Blackmail, maybe? Yeah, made it. Sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. His shirt says, no mo rules. <laughs> okay. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Madarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Did you see Madarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, how could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. <laughs> they drew him on the chalkboard was crying. <laughs> Phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah. How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just wanna ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens.
Feels uh, pretty great having everyone talking about us, huh? Motorame is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as I'm his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That's bullshit. You gonna be okay? There's no need to worry. They had already been treating me differently from the others as it stood. This is nothing new to me. Okay, then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? Are you kidding? There's no way we'd find a target that quick. To mementos we go. Great idea. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Hey, are you listening? Hey, big dog. <laughs> you pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? Oh. <laughs> That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. We could have dodged that with more proficiency. Oh. Uh, senpai. Kasumi. What a pleasant surprise. It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Thanks. Well, you do carry me around in your bag all the time. I've got to show my appreciation somehow. Well, see you around. Where's your umbrella? Unfortunately, I forgot it. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. You want to walk together? Uh huh. But how are. Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? Yes. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Is that for gymnastics? Yeah, that's right. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And Oopsies. it's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'll cheer you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> oh! We're is there a the is there a thing happening there? I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough. Why are they all staring at us? I swear I'll return the favor some. Hey, oh. isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around. Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's not your fault. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? He must care about you. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Seems pretty rough. It's like she has it hard. Never mind that. Having
Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. So let's go check in. Let's check in with the mementos. And then, um, let's see. What's what's our hanging out situation? And Maruki and Takemi can both go up. Let's see. Let's check our... Um, Let's check our confidence, see what's... Oh, uh, we should <laughs> we should make him go up. Cause he's a three. What's... What's Takemi? Takemi? No, not Takemi. Morgana, Prison Master... Takamaki. Where's... Oh, back alley doctor. Four. So Maruki should be first. Let's, uh... Let's let's go to counseling, then. Takemi and Maruki. I don't remember where we go to get him, though. Oh. He probably texted us. Yep. So regarding my research, do you have any time today? Yeah, let's go. Oh, you know what though? I oh, know we didn't finish the book. I was gonna say let's return the movie, but we didn't finish it. Do so. you like the rain? Do you like the rain? <laughs> Looks like it's raining today. If you're feeling down, it's probably the weather's fault. My research is going really smoothly. It's surprising how well it's been. Thanks to our discussions. I was actually hoping you could help me out again today. Hmm. Yeah, let's help him out. Okay, thanks. Come on. Let's talk in the courtyard. I've been stuck in the nurse's office for the longest time and I want to change a pace. <sighs> well, uh, Big Dog Coon, I just found out that how scary cats can be, despite their cuteness. <laughs> Where's this coming from? So, it happened on my way to school this morning. I got I spotted a kitten that had gotten itself stuck up a tree. I tried res rescuing it since uh. Why did that happen? What just happened? Uh, sorry, hold on one second. Technical difficulty here. The sound just cut out. Okay, that was weird. Um, I had no idea cat's claws were so sharp. Wait, I missed something in that. Uh, I tried rescuing since I felt bad for it, but I ended up with clawing of a lifetime of effort. Uh... Talk about a reward. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but I was able to rescue the kitten, so... All's well that ends well. All I really had to do is make sure to put antibiotics in on the scratches. Anyway, uh, let's move on and talk about a different kind of pain. We discussed this for a bit last time we talked. I, actually, the pain felt within one's heart. There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical injuries and illness. But when it comes to pains of the heart, we're working in unknown territory. There's so much we haven't learned yet. Uh, treating trauma sure is difficult when invisible. If only we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way, like putting antibiotics on a scratch. Is that what you're researching? Oh, how astute of you. As a matter of fact, you're not too far off the mark. Unfortunate as it may be, we all know there's no topical medicine that can properly heal a heartache. Not only that, psychological issues are even more complex. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Oh, big dog. Woe is me. My heart is in such pain. It's like I'm being pierced through the chest. I have such a torturous burning deep inside me. Are you okay? Sorry. That was a poor attempt at acting. Please don't look at me like that. <laughs> but, uh... 
basically, what I'm getting at is our own emotional pain is the only kind we can fully comprehend. That seems obvious, right? But it's absolutely vital to understand. A person's heart is their pain. No, a person's heart, as in their pain, cannot be seen. Even if they spend their whole lives expressing it to others, there's no way for them to truly grasp it. It's not like we can directly look at their hearts and remove the root causes for their pain. But for me, to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the heart reacts to the world around it. That's the first stepping stone to a breakthrough in the field. Once that's been figured out, we'll not only comprehend psychological pains that were once unknowable, but we'll even be able to perform more effective treatments for those people without wounded hearts. Wow, you're so kind. No, I'm no saint. I just want to do my job well. Uh, if we can get rid of people's pain, that'd be for the best, right? I'm no fan of pain myself. Well, uh... On the other hand, people have laughed at, off my ideas just a silly, pointless dream, and I can't say I blame them. But still, you have to take time to listen to what I have to say, uh, and you actually try to understand. Thanks. You, you, I, I can tell I'm actually getting somewhere with my theories. How can I phrase it? I guess I could say you're making this hazy, hard-to-grasp idea finally appear before me. You know, you could very well become a counselor yourself someday. So, would you like to try being my assistant? Of course, I'm not on a shoestring budget, so I, I wouldn't be able to pay you. Yeah, that sounds fun. Oh, sounds great. Oh, surprisingly eager. Maybe you really will become a skilled counselor in the future. Joking aside, I truly am grateful for your assistance. Thank you, Big Dog. I'm saying what he wants to hear. Counselor rank four. All right. All right, we have till November to get it up to nine, so. Let's put a pin in that for today, shall we? I hope you'll lend an ear again when you've got the time to spare. Now, uh... Now, I know you've been waiting for this, so let's get the mental training. All right. Max SP up by five. Be careful, okay? So because of him, we're up, we got 20 extra SP. That's actually really good. Big dog coon. You have a moment? Uh, today got pretty one-sided. I just end up rambling again. This keeps happening. I should have asked sooner, but is this leaving you with any mental fatigue? Is your score work being affected? No, I feel completely fine. Really, thank goodness. I was worried not every guy wants a middle-aged weirdo rambling to them about a bunch of psycho philosophical abstracts. I know it's asking a lot, but it'd be great if we could keep... What? Er, uh, the station? Sorry, I, I, think, I think this tourist needs help. I better go. Hold on, uh, Sh Shinjuku and... Oh, you've got no money. Huh. Uh, you haven't heard anything from the student council president, have you? Ms. Honor student must be busy kissing his ass somewhere. You don't have to be so harsh. <laughs> uh, what is this about a student council president? The one at our school has kind of been keeping tabs on us. I think she's suspicious of us. Are you sure it's not merely a result of Ryuji's general misconduct? Shut up! <laughs> uh, though to be honest, the three of you most certainly stand out. Do try to be careful. I cannot be there to look over you at school, you know. That duty rests on your broad shoulders, big dog. Don't worry. I'll make sure to keep an eye on Ryuji, too. Why do you gotta single me out? The others kind of overshadow you sometimes, but don't forget. You're famous, too. Just make sure you're careful, okay? Sure. Hey, inmate! Oh. Listen well. Inmate, come to the entrance of the velvet room before we change our minds. Then. Okay. Hmm. They were... Who are you talking to? They sounded really noisy. If you've been summoned somewhere, you should probably get going. Okay, so let's go to the velvet room. Hmm. So you've come. Huh. You're late. Next time we expect you to be in front of us within two seconds of our calling. 
We've got some new duties lined up for you. Let's call them special assignments. To the point, there are a number of places in your reality society that may foster your rehabilitation. You will prove the value of these places to us in person. Listen up, inmate. We will select various locations that we suspect could be vital to your rehabilitation. Should you recognize the place that we mention, you are to escort us there. Um, you want to go explore? Are those ears of yours just for decoration? These are special assignments for the sake of your rehabilitation. Working just as hard as them as you do the rest of your duties. We will await you in front of a... <laughs> we will await you in front of the door, like this, whenever a special assignment is available. Should you meet our expectations, we'll scrape together some sort of reward for you, so no slacking off. We ought to mention these special assignments will not be available indefinitely. To phrase it, for your comprehension, you will have until the end of the year to complete them. You are also required to continue working towards your rehabilitation to earn these assignments. We're really going out of our way for you here. Don't tell us we never did anything special for you. Alright, so now we can take on take the twins to various facilities that pique their interests when those outings are available. Okay. In order to take them to the locations, you'll need to check out various facilities around the city. Time will pass during the outings. In that case. Okay, so yeah, let's do it. Very well. The first location we have chosen is one that has grown quite popular lately. It's purported to offer foods that simulate the feeling of being in space. Oh. Yeah, they want to go to Big Burger. Yeah, let's go to Big Bang Burger. Guide me, inmate. Well, it is indeed shaped like a mysterious craft, but it's much smaller than I had expected. Is this a meal they boasted to be as immense as the cosmos? I'm quite disappointed. Hey, inmate, you don't really expect some kind of reward out of this, do you? It's the Big Bang Challenge. So humanity intends to generate its own universe now, does it? <laughs> You've got guts. We've had enough of your smart remarks. Know your place, inmate. Oh, so they can get that large. <laughs> the Big Bang Challenge. What an intriguing concept. For the sake of your rehabilitation, you are to take this challenge. Of course, you will take the largest they offer. Any objections, inmate? I'm not ranked high enough. Ah, uh, yes. I did overhear that the challenge required advancement through a number of previous stages. Quit spacing out. I don't care. You're taking that challenge one way or another. Get on your knees and beg if you have to. <sighs> Holy shit. Don't tell me. You're really doing this? Not only that, but you're our 10,000th customer. To show your appreciation, we're treating you with the highest tier of Big Bang Challenge, the Cosmic Tower Burger. Well then, it's time to get 30 minutes... Oh my god. It's so much bigger than the inmate's entire stomach. Perhaps the moniker implies any diner's stomach will suffer its own Big Bang. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pop. Alright, uh, do you think this is a good idea to add more crimes to your record? Go, blah, 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 let's go. Hmm, not a bad start. But you've only just begun. <laughs> I'm already full. <laughs> Listen up. My stomach is going to burst. <laughs> hmm, don't his eyes look rather dead to you? <laughs> Perhaps he is glimpsing the vast emptiness of outer space. <laughs> oh, hey, is he really all right? He's not about to keel over, is he? I don't think I can finish. I think he's about to pass out. I suppose. It appears it truly was, this truly was too much for him to handle. Very well. Let us pitch in. Oof, we did it. I have to say, you really held your own there. You almost didn't make it through, but we'll call this a success since your stomach didn't burst. <sighs> I must say, though, I'm rather dissatisfied with the place's usage of the moniker Big Bang Burger. They certainly craft a meal of the present size, but when it's compared to the Big Bang generated, it's not grand in the least. Do humans have some sort of compulsion for exaggerating the sizes of things? Good question. In fact, this challenge ra raises quite a few of them. You took the challenge for the sake of your rehabilitation, but who in their right mind would willingly consume so much food? Maybe I don't understand humanity at all. Say, inmate, why are humans always testing and pushing their limits? Sort of like a training. 
Aren't there more practical approaches to training than such behavior? Hey, just see, maybe we should take our challenges ourselves. I just had the very same thought. If we, are, if we were to thrust ourselves into this ordeal, perhaps we could discover some answers. Hey, person. How can I help you? We're taking the Big Bang Challenge. Well, uh, there's a minimum age requirement to be eligible for the challenge. Uh, could I interest you in our little bang meal instead? Comes with a toy. Do you want a cute little spaceship? A spaceship? <laughs> That's a burger, fries, and juice for 500 yen. It'll be right up. Wait, we didn't ask for it. It's too late now. Let's just settle for that today. I admit I am intrigued by the diminutive spaceship. <laughs> didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. You seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. Sh shut up! <laughs> I saw you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine. That, that wasn't food from the... What? Is this true? Wait, what did she say? Sorry, I got dis I got distracted by something over here. That was from the surf. It was clearly a uh, alien spawn of some sort. Yeah, they're a delicacy. I see. Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. Caroline? <clears throat> well, at any rate. We've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. Cool. You better work just as hard next time. We know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled, all as if it were nothing. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move. I escorted the twins back to the velvet room as ordered. Okay. Oh wow, 16%. That's a lot more than it was before. I'm hot. Are we there yet? It's hard to breathe in here. Now for today's trade news. Today's headlines are... Calling card at Matarame exhibit. The police are evaluating whether this is a true threat or a prank. Scam outbreak in Shibuya. Students are the primary victims. Organized crime is the suspect here. Hey, hey. Students getting scammed? That's scary. You should be careful. Ugh. What's this? A request to the student body. It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa put it up. Please consult the student council president if you have any details. So we can go to her for anything? Why the student council president, though? What does she have to do with Principal Kobayakawa? Kobayakawa. I mean, Nijima-san is his favorite. Maybe that's why he asked her to do it. How tragic. It seems that most of society was surprised about what the artist did. He was someone who represented Japan. They probably trusted him based on his name alone. Indeed, we are easily manipulated by the names we see. However, this world is filled with fake names. For instance, this creature which you know well. It's called the Red King Crab, but it has a form that a crab should not have. Big Dog Coon, look at this picture. Give it a try. The Red King Crab is biologically related to the Hermit Crab. So how is it different from a crab? Do you know? Uh, 
Uh, I don't. I do. It's the number of legs. That's it. <laughs> Not bad. That's correct. Crabs have five pairs of legs, but red king crabs only have four pairs. The direction of the legs unfolds is reverse too. Typically, they face forward, but a red king's do not. Wow, really? Wow, he's kind of smart. Nice going. Incidentally, the tamale of a crab isn't its brain, as some people say. It's actually a crab's liver and pancreas. As you can see, the world is full of deception. Man, our name did spread a bit thanks to Badarame. But I bet people still... Excuse me, it's getting late here. I bet people still wouldn't care if we came out and said we're Phantom Thieves. I'm not so sure. I doubt anyone would believe us. But what good would come of telling people our identities? Maybe they'd at least start treating us with some respect? Well, I can understand why you'd feel that way. That's just how things are now, but if we keep doing stuff like this, that will change, definitely change. Uh, we simply need to devote ourselves to the cause. Our praise will come later. What he said. I'm sure some people out there will understand. Uh, I guess we just gotta act like modest heroes for now. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? President, what is the meaning of that posting? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police, what should I do? Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us too. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Well, no. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please wait on this for the time being. You say so. My apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. Hey! If we keep this up, I'm sure we'll get more supporters. First, we need a new target. I hope we can find a good one. I have some new info. Apparently, there's a group of burglars terrorizing Shibuya. Oh my god, there's so many. No way. Okay, let's see what we got working on here. What are we doing today? Right now I'm at the Underground Mall in Shibuya. I'll still be in Shibuya for a little while. Let me know if anything comes up. Yeah, let's go meet Anne. Sorry, and I'm gonna uh, decline that's too bad. because I'm going to I'm going to hang out with Takemi. Although studying today would be good. All right, we're gonna do Takemi right now, and then I think we're gonna stop after this. There's no one here. Let's do it. Head to the exam room. All right, let's see what happens. <sighs> okay, that's all for today. Uh, if you're feeling okay, you can go home now. Hello. Hello, Doctor Takemi's clinical internal office medicine something. I read that. What? Again? That's. Well, that's that ship's already sailed. So. Hmm. <sighs> what a pain. You remember that girl from the other day? The the chief of staff Oyamada's patient? Well, her dad's been bringing her here to be treated, even though I referred him to another hospital. 
I even told them about our medical error I made. I mean, they trust you. I'm just a quack, though. Hmm. Medical error was well documented. Everyone in my field knows about it. The le I led development of a new drug for an incurable illness called Crawford Ends Disease. Although I wasn't the one who administered the medicine, it was the cause of the error. With Crawford Ends, Crawford Ends, certain cells indiscriminately attack other cells throughout the body. When it reaches the muscle, the patient slowly begins to die. There has been much progress made on it, partly because there haven't been many cases of it. I worked with a pharmaceutical company that had reached the final stage of production, but one day I suddenly I was suddenly removed from my position. The chief of staff, Oyamata, my superior at the time, took over the entire operation. <laughs> I don't even know if he wanted the glory of developing a new drug or to become rich and famous, but he made careless mistakes and rushed completion so he could be use it on a patient named Miwa. Miwa Chan had a reaction that lapsed into critical condition. The chief panicked and laid the blame on me. Miwa Chan and her family resented me. No matter what I said, I couldn't change how they felt about me. I had no idea. That's fine. Well, that doesn't matter. The development of medicine was suspended, so I had no reason to stay at that hospital. At least. At least now I can keep working as a general practitioner on my own terms, with my own guinea pig. That's the new medicine I've been trying out on you. This version is in its final stage of testing. It searches for those cells that take the offensive in ones and destroys them upon detection. That's why it's harmless for people who don't have the disease. Probably. Probably? <laughs> well, nothing in life is guaranteed, right? Don't make that face. Don't worry, this substance can't cause any harm to cells that haven't been infected. Hey. You better not flake on me this late in the game. I'm inching closer to the finish line, but I need your help to reach it. In exchange, I can offer you medicine at a special price. I'm counting on you, guinea pig. Add support items to the inventory at the clinic. All right. Sick. Hmm. Now, what should I do about that girl and her dad? Being mean and scaring them isn't working. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this kind of nuisance. It's stressing me out. Oh, sorry. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. You can go home now. Yay, my guts went up. Bye. Okay, thanks for your hard work. You do okay, my little guinea pig? Just wanted to check up on you. Also, sorry for the long talk today. I, I wasn't planning on telling you all that. About me, Wichan? Yeah, the first person I really shared that with. But it also was a good reminder. This is something I have to do as the plague. Thanks to you, the drug's development is progressing very smoothly. If there are no issues with the latest sample, I think we're right on the edge of finally finishing it. Oh, sorry, looks like I got a patient. Maybe that girl and her dad came back. I gotta go. See you later. Sush. Ah, you're back. Alright, so... Uh, let's... Oh, the crossword puzzle. I forgot about that. Let's save. It'd be a shame to lose all of this. Alright, I'm gonna call it here because it's getting pretty late for me. It's like almost it's midnight and I got work tomorrow. So we're gonna call it there. Uh... I want to thank everybody who was hanging out here tonight. Thanks for the follows. Uh, anybody who follows me on Twitch, if you got Twitch channels, I'm coming right back and I'm going to check your streams out. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, like, subscribe, uh, check us out on Twitch. It's fun. You can be a part of these videos. So uh, that's it. So like I said at the top of the video, um, let me know what you guys think about the idea of maybe playing, finishing up... Um, metroid otherwise come back tomorrow because we're gonna play resident evil 4 remake because that's out tomorrow so uh tomorrow 7 30 we'll update it on the schedule and hopefully i see you guys there so 
Um, that's all I got. Make sure you all stay safe and peace out.